So I decided to get a massage from the massage therapist that's in our office. His name is Janal, and he's a big dude. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit about what we did in there. How's it going, everybody? So this is Janal, and Janal is trying to rip my muscle off the back of my leg right now. And you guys know I'm dealing with this uh, this hamstring and, and knee problem that's creating an issue while I'm trying to get it resolved. And so Janal's just kind of working through all of the fascia on the back of my leg from my foot all the way up my hamstring. So, and it hurts. He's getting in there pretty deep. And you all see Janal, he's a pretty big dude. He gets in there with his elbow and it hurts. So, so what are you working on right now? I am working on this biceps femoris over here in your hamstring area. It seems a little bit tight to me. So I'm just going in here with some nice little constant pressure to help release it all the way up to the origin point which is the bottom of your glutes. And I feel some changes. So yeah, it's actually better than it was. You feel that? Yeah. Feel that a little better than, and what, we're only like, what, 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes in? Yeah, yeah, we're a few minutes in at this point, but he was, he was rocking it just a little bit ago. I got to, you know. We gotta get back, we gotta get Justin back to, you know, running shape I know he guys I know he keeps you guys motivated and active he's a great guy so he's got to take care of himself that's right that's right so if you guys are having an injury or something like that and you feel like you need need to do the things you got to do to take care of yourself you got to get in there and you got to do it so um, that's what I'm doing right now and like I said Janelle's just trying to rip my muscles off my legs so Sometimes you need to do that. <laughs> now I'm doing some pin and stretch motion to help the muscle fiber release just off the bones a little bit because muscles get stuck together. And if you don't work them out, they definitely like to stick together, but yeah. you need to come in and separate them. Yeah. So I'm just holding down on his hamstrings and then letting his leg go down and it's basically just doing the work for me. Yeah. Up and down. And I think I've shown you guys like a pen and stretch method using a foam roll before. That's basically what he's doing right now. He's just doing it manually. So it uh, feels good later. <laughs> I'm waiting for later. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, Janelle. No problem. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't film myself the whole time. But what I should have filmed was when he got into my sartorius muscle. Oh, that is definitely the culprit of this entire thing. So remember I told you guys that the pes anserine area is made up of the tendons from the sartorius, the gracilis, and the semitendinosus. When he was working on the gracilis and the semitendinosus, I really didn't have a lot of issues. When he got into that sartorius muscle, that was a whole different beast. And I can tell you right now that I absolutely feel like I've just been put through the the ringer because it I my leg is like feeling almost ripped to shreds now you may think well that's not a good thing well it maybe to some people it's not good because it's going to make them sore later on and it will probably make me sore and in fact I'm quite sore right now um, but uh, you know I've worked with Janelle before he's worked on a similar issue for me in the past and what happened the last time was I had about one day of just kind of soreness, and then the next day I felt like a million bucks. So I totally expect for that to happen again this time. Um, as I'm standing here and walking around right now, I'll tell you right now what I'm feeling. Yes, the soft tissues around my entire my entire knee are all like feeling beat up, but my knee itself, right there at the medial knee where I've been feeling the pain, I don't feel anything. Walking around, squatting, standing, moving, doing anything, I feel 
no pain whatsoever. So that's pretty exciting for me, and I am looking forward to hopefully getting back to running at the 10-day mark instead of 14 days. So as of right now, I'm about five days into it, so maybe halfway. I still want to allow for a little bit more healing time, but I think that overall, this is going to really work out quite well. And uh, so just wanted to give you guys a little update on <laughs> what I've been doing to help with this knee pain.